What is up, guys, and welcome to another episode of Down South Off-Road and Outdoor. Babe, I know we're going to do another outdoor review, but what are we reviewing? Today, we are reviewing an adaptive smart headlamp. Oh, you mean this one. I don't know what makes it so smart, but let's find out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, if you've watched this channel, well, she's dancing to the music in her own head right now. But if you've watched this channel, you know that I love me some Kickstarter. What's Kickstarter? It's a crowdfunding page where you can back a new business that's just getting started. So when you see this packaging, it may not be what you get if you order this project, uh, product, but they are the same. This is the, wait, let me get in there. The Adaptive Smart Headlamp by Panther. Panther makes a ton of lights. This one is just going to be a little bit different. Do you so, know why it's different, babe? Because it's smart. Well, of course it is. <laughs> and typically you don't need instructions with a headlamp, but... This one you're going to need a little bit, just a little bit, unless you follow this video. So the light, um, first of all, it has a rubber headband, um, a nice cushiony Oh, it does, yeah. pad on the back that's why it's so comfy on my face and that sort of thing and then it will adjust uh with this little adjuster here you just slide this back and forth to make it tight if you need to now so what is going on let's look at it so it first of all take a look at it it looks really like cool iron man's chest piece yes yes it that's does. what it looks like it looks really cool um so you have the power button and then you have a directional button which is going to operate the direction of the light like which light you want on if you want them all four you can choose to just turn it on the top and bottom side to side or just the center. Then you have this little cool button here on the end. And what this is, this is a, a an adaptive sensitivity button. That's For that motion. Is. For motion. So basically what this thing will do is that if you turn, if you have the adaptive sensitivity on, then what's gonna happen is if you turn this way or if the light will just be centered. And when you turn this way, the light on this side will come on. This side stays off. But when you turn this way, this light will come on. So, have you ever noticed that when you're wearing a normal, traditional headlamp, you get tunnel vision? You can straight. only see straight ahead of you. So, this thing has a gyrometer inside of it, and as the headlamp, gyrometer. that's what it is. It's literally that. It tilts, just like the ones that's in your iPhones. It tilts, if you're moving your head to the left, it turns on the left light. If you tilt your head to the right, it's going to turn on the right light. If you look up, it's going to light up that up light vice versa you get it so i'm just gonna let you turn it on i don't know if that one has any charge but if not i'll give you the one on my head babe so um first of all let me tell you that when you turn this on do not do not look at the light <laughs> we were playing with the other light before we started this video and we're both seeing squares as we're trying to record this so let's see if it comes on it does it does so don't and look it's at very the light. bright so that's the center that was just the center because it lights up the whole camera all right, so now you can see those you can see those lights turning on and off while she's just tilting it. So now tilt it to one direction. I don't know if yep. I have the sensitivity on. Yep. Did it work? No, it's good. Yeah. So you can see the light moving. Um, I know it doesn't look big during the day. Yeah. Now the bottom light come on, and then when you tilt it up, that bot see how the bottom light went off and the up light is on. So while it doesn't look like a big deal during the day, once we turn this light off. It's gonna be pretty cool. Go ahead and throw that thing on your head, babe. Is my light still on? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one doesn't have much battery. Okay. Well, we just opened it. So. Um, but I think this bad boy is gonna light up the world. Yes. I really sure. do. If uh, if our blindness is any indication of the sheer power, um, it's gonna be good. So let's wait till the sun goes away. All right, baby. Turn on the fury of the gods. See what the light looks like. That's red. I don't know what it is. That's a that's, spot. Okay. I think that's a single spot light. Okay. Single spot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I'm going to come to the back. So close your eyes a second because I'm going to look at the camera. Okay. Okay. All right. So, yep. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to see if I can focus in on her. But I don't know if we've set the sensitivity yet. I think hopefully it stays where you had it because well you messed uh, it was working you just put it on red what was high sensitivity okay so so yeah is it working so yeah but I'm, I don't know how to make the the, the 
video show it. Yes. Typically with a light, you have tunnel vision. But so now you can see she's looking down, so that down light came on. Wait. There it goes. You can see it, guys. As she turns, you can see lights going off and now coming on. See that? You can see that one on the left that just came on, and that one came on on the right as she started turning. Look down. As she looks down, that lower one comes on. That's the one you can really see, babe. Well, and I'll tell you, that one that goes down, you need to make sure that this light is setting up high on your head because I had it more right above my eyebrows. Uh -huh. it was, as I looked down, it immediately blinded me. Gotcha. I had it set too low on my head. Wow. Yeah. That is, that is a lot of light, guys. So, yeah, look at that. You can see it from back here when you do it, babe. Okay. Now go to the left. Boom. That is so crazy. That is so crazy. I don't know why I'm so excited. I don't know what it is about dudes and lights, but we love a fucking light, guys. So, I mean, look at that. Look how much you can see. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow. It's just, you know, you don't think you need that kind of technology. You're like, this is a gimmick. But I'm telling you, I can, I'm looking behind her, and that's the red. We can stand that. Yeah. Okay. So what we, we, can, uh, we can stand that. But do it again. I wasn't done with the back of you. Can we turn back around? Yeah. Well, and then give me the, there we go. So is that back? Spotlight, I think. No, it's, no, it's still doing its thing. Yep. It's still doing its thing. Nice. Yeah, it's still coming on. You can see it. It's so crazy when you get behind you, how you see it. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. So this is the adaptive headlamp from Panther Vision. And um, here, I'm just gonna walk with you and look at the woods. It is very. It's really awesome, like if you're hiking or, or walking along, because as you look down at light, it, you don't have to look all the way down to get it to light the whole ground up. Yeah. Where normally, if you have a regular headlamp, you have to physically look down. But yep. this, all I have to do is slowly glance my head down, and it lights yeah. up my Yeah, you can see it lighting up your feet. Yeah. So walk and look up, and then we'll be able to see when you walk and look down. Now this one was straight, and then just glancing down. Okay, yep. There it is. Yeah. And you're looking left. So crazy, it lights up this whole area. Here, I'm gonna go oh, way far. I'm gonna, yeah, look, I'm gonna go way far back, babe. I mean, wow, from this far back, it's so much better. That is so cool. And look down. Super cool. What do you think, guys? Does that look like a bright headlamp for uh, for overlanding? I will tell you though, um, the normal headlamps that we wear in overlanding, you can actually look at each other and things like that. But if I tried to look at her, I would be seeing spots for a very, very long time. Um, That's why it's important to wear red. Yeah, and no bugs for red. Yeah, no bugs for red. So, super cool. So, babe, what are your thoughts? Because I know you didn't care anything about this product. It's very comfortable, like, like, way com more comfortable than any of the other headlamps that we've um, that we've reviewed. I think it it's because that pad, nicely. Yeah. yeah, and the the rubber. It's I thought it was going to be kind of like it would pull my hair and be uncomfortable, but it's not. It's not pulling at all. It sets nicely. Um, you just pull the little back string and it tightens it. Um, so it's very comfortable. Very very comfortable. Nice. All right, Panther Vision, you guys did well. This is a very affordable outdoor option. And like she said, I think for hiking, it would be very, very integral yeah. um, as long as you're not looking at other people. Yeah. Because <laughs> it'd be the equivalent of getting bright lights in the Jeep. It's like, don't test me. I got more to offer. <laughs> All right, guys, as always, what do they need to do, babe? Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up on this video and leave a comment. Let us know what you think about the light. Till next time. See you.